Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you some top habits to become your most successful self. I know I have followed these tips and I noticed that even though they're such small tips, they definitely make such a huge difference in my life. So I'm super thrilled to share this with you guys today. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe right there and let's go ahead and get started. So number one is to set goals. First thing in the morning when you wake up, it's so easy to just power on your electronics, turn your cell phone on, and instantly you're bombarded with messages and emails and whatnot. Well, what if you just shut off the technology first thing in the morning, have it turned off all night so you get a good night's sleep, wake up in the morning before you power on your electronics, like your TV, your cell phone, everything that causes distractions. Instead of that, I highly recommend sitting down with a journal and writing out the plans for your day. I love picking up cute little notebooks from the dollar store that have several pages, you guys. And I love just writing what I'm gonna do that day that's gonna be productive for the day. So even something as simple as unloading the dishwasher, finishing the laundry, bathing the dog, doing half hour on the treadmill, just having a task list for the day and then you check it off as you go, this has helped me to become so much more productive. And I notice when I don't make a plan for the day and let's say I turn on my phone first thing in the morning, I get lost in all the messages, I get lost in the emails and the TikToks and the Instagram notifications and everything and before I know it, half my day is over. And I know that probably some of you are struggling with the same thing. So definitely silencing our phones at least for an hour in the morning and and planning out our day and our goals for the day will ensure that you have the most productive day possible. Number two, taking care of our bodies. I know we live in such a busy world, especially with social media taking over, taking most of our time. And it's so hard when you're working full time and let's say you have an office job and you're sitting down all day. It's you know, exhausting to think about even working out, ensuring that you're eating healthy at least and getting a bare minimum of 5,000 steps a day. That's why I like to walk around with a Fitbit just to track my steps for the day. I try and get up to walk every 20 minutes, ensure that I'm meal prepping so that I have my meals ready to go for the next day so I don't have any excuses to go run out and buy takeout and derail any of my fitness goals. So definitely meal planning and wearing something as simple as a step counting watch can help you stay fit and adding some body weight resistance training to your routine will definitely help increase muscle mass, which helps burn calories. So even just a half hour to an hour a day of activity followed with eating healthy can make huge results. The third tip of highly successful people is that they invest in themselves. Now, this could be something as simple as learning a new language or a new skill like first aid, CPR, a new language course, a makeup course, whatever. Just investing in yourself makes you feel so good so that you always have a backup plan in your pocket. You're ready to go. Let's say if your job lays you off, it's like, oh, I'm not too worried about it because I have these skills in my back pocket that will help me get another job just like that. So it's super good to invest in yourself. You know, some courses are only like a hundred bucks for first aid, a hundred dollars for an online French course, whatever. These little skills show employers that you're willing to learn new skills, which is huge and also benefiting yourself and your own personal resume. And you're continuously learning and evolving and you have more life experience. So definitely invest in yourself, find something that you're passionate about and go for it. Number four, knowing where your money is going. How many of us have a ton of subscriptions on our phone that we don't even know about? And every month we have $20 here, $20 there, going out for Prime, Amazon, all of these subscriptions that we have. Well, it's important to keep track of those. So going into your settings, your subscriptions on your phone and canceling ones that you don't use because little by little, $20 here, $20 there, it all adds up. Highlight where you find that you're spent impulsively spending the most money 
or just knowing where your money is going, period, will help you to become more successful and more in control of your finances. Which leads me to my next point. Don't use credit cards. I know, I know you're saying, but I use them for points and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I think if you don't have the money upfront, then don't spend it. Take responsibility for your debt. Make the money. Practice delayed gratification. If you cannot afford that TV with the money that you have made right now, do not put it on credit. Credit card companies play a psychological game where they know that you're not going to be able to pay off the full balance when it's due. So then they accrue interest and then you get stuck in this rabbit hole of borrowing money and spending money and also those points that you get, those free trips that you get. The credit card companies are not rewarding you with their own money. That is money from people that are seriously in debt that cannot pay their full monthly bill. So it's the most poor people that are paying high interest on their credit cards that they cannot get ahead of. Those are the people that are paying for your trips, your rewards points, your cash back. So I want absolutely no part of that. I do not need a, you do not need a credit card in this day and age debit cards or cash work just fine so it is okay if you do not have a credit score or if you just simply do not have any debt so if you're trying to apply for a new vehicle if you're trying to get a new apartment if you don't have any debt but you can show that you have income that works just the same as having a credit score that you went into debt in the first place to get. So don't be fooled by credit cards or credit scores. Number six leads me to spending your money. Now be creative, stay in, stop going out and splurging at restaurants. Oh my God, I can't stand when I see the bill at the restaurant and it's like a hundred dollars. I think of all the groceries that I could have bought for that hundred dollars that I just sat down and had one single meal with and I am just, I hate it. I hate that feeling. So definitely get creative, stay home, invite friends over, watch a movie at home. This leads me back to checking your bank balance. You will see, you know, $100 at the keg, $100 at Boston Pizza, $100 here, $50 there. It all adds up. Stay home, buy groceries, meal prep. You will start to see savings grow in your bank account in no time when you know exactly where your money is going and using it more productively. I'm a huge fan of this next one. This is buying used instead of buying new, especially vehicles. Vehicles depreciate by about 30% when you drive them off the lot. So it's like, okay, <laughs> this person had their vehicle for like a month and now they're selling it. It's going to depreciate by a 30%. So I don't care if a vehicle is new or used. I personally have a used vehicle that I absolutely love. It's paid off and I'm gonna drive it until the wheels fall off. If a vehicle gets you from point A to point B, that is all that matters for me. Do not be fooled by the shiny vehicles and the shiny wheels. And you know, whenever I see a super fancy souped up car and a young person driving it, I always think to myself, ooh, they're probably in a lot of debt and I don't envy them at all. I love the fact that I don't have a monthly car payment and sometimes older vehicles work better than these new computerized vehicles. So I say buy used and don't just buy used when it comes to vehicles, buy used when it comes to clothing or designer clothing. If you like, you know, the fancier things in life, like Louis Vuittons, Louis Vuittons, Jimmy Choo's, you name it. There's websites that people have already used their clothing, such as Poshmark, Versatair.com, and you can get high-end products for one-tenth of the price. So I'm a huge fan in buying used. I also tend not to buy trendy clothes. I buy classic clothes. Classic clothes will last you for years and years and years and good quality pieces. Don't just buy what's trending right now. You want something that's gonna last a long time. So I highly recommend that. Have you ever noticed how millionaires actually dress? Look at Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. You would never know that they were millionaires if you saw them on the street. But realistically, humbled people that have money and are successful don't feel the need to show it off with fancy crap. A lot of them are very humble and don't want to be bothered when they're out and about. They didn't forget where they came from in the first place before they were millionaires. The last tip I have to share with you guys goes back to that meal prep and that is doing simple things like making your lunches at home, making coffee at home every day. Stop going to Starbucks and spending thousands, I'm not kidding, thousands of dollars a year on Starbucks coffee. It is crazy. 
A coffee pot is 30 cents. A Starbucks coffee is like $7. So that adds up quite fast. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any tips and tricks on how you stay successful, then definitely comment below. I'd love to hear them. Definitely check out my other videos on how to make money fast and ways to save on your favorite luxury items. Thank you guys once again for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye for now.